audio is very, very important. That's it. That's the intro. Hello comrades, friends, and people hoping to become a better streamer. My name is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome to the latest video in this playlist of 30 days to become a better streamer. I also have a Twitch channel, link to it is in the description below. And let's talk about audio and why it's important. Now, the thing with audio is you can get away with not having a camera, but audio is gonna be the thing which makes or breaks your stream. Now, I'm not saying you have to have the most perfect, exquisite audio you could ever hope to have and pay thousands upon thousands of pounds or dollars to get the very best microphone, to get foam all around your room, to have the top legit stuff going. No, you don't need any of that at all. As a matter of fact, you can get a half decent microphone, a USB one, you could probably get them for 50, 60, 70 quid. Um, this one I have by here, I think it was £150. It was reduced in a sale. And I have a foam shield on top of it, but there. I also have a dual layer foam stand by here, just kind of a, a pop filter, just to protect it from the P's and the B's and all that pop, pop, pop sound, because that can really be infuriated to some people. So having little things like that can make a big difference. Having your mic up on a stand can make a, di a big difference as well. I know with the Blue Yeti, you can get this thing where it's like a, a sound kind of protector where it hooks onto the, the stand and any kind of knocking on the keyboard, it protects from that as well. These are all little important things which can help your audio setup. But bare bones, very basic we're talking now. This is for brand new streamers, this is. What you want is to make sure that when you're recording on OBS, which I will show you on my OBS in a second, that your levels are hitting the orange and they're not hitting the red. Let's go to OBS and have a look, shall we? Okay, so this is my OBS screen right now. And you will see that when I'm talking, I am hitting the orange and I am very, very faintly just hitting the, when I pop quite loudly, I'm hitting the very minimum part of the red zone, which is by there. It's a small little indicator by there. I don't want to go anywhere into that at all. Now you can change this by reducing stuff like this. For example, what I'm talking right now. And it went just like that. You can bring it right up. If it goes too far then, you can hurt your eardrums as well. So what you want to do is try and find a good level. Mine's anywhere from sort of between one and two decibels. Put 1.5, there we go. When you're talking normally, you want to be sort of around this range by here, which is what you're seeing right now. And if you hit into the orange, that's pretty good. Anything in the red is a no. So above the green for your voice, below the red for your voice. So a good way to do it is have your normal talking voice in and around the orange zone by here, and your in-game audio, in this case it would be desktop audio on here, to be anywhere sitting around the green. You want your microphone voice to be overpowering your game source. That's one of the main things here. The next thing I'm going to show you, if I go into this little filter by here, there I am, hello, hello everyone, you'll see that I have noise suppression. I have that on minus 10 decibels. The important thing for all of you here is you're all going to be in different rooms, in different places around the world, with different microphones, different outside noises and, and stuff like that. For example, I have a loud PC down by here and I have three dogs that are of my neighbors next door, which occasionally are in the garden and are barking. So I have two lots of noise things to deal with. So I have to change my settings accordingly. Minus 10 decibels seems to be okay, but I, I often tweak this as and when to see what works. We have an equalizer by here, which it says rear equalizer. I have a compressor, which says rear compressor, and I have a background fur as well. These are all things which I go into a lot more detail on on a separate video, which you'll find in the description below. It is my tutorial video that I did last year on using Reaper plugins, which are really, really handy for OBS. So I would implore you to go and check out that video. I go into a lot of detail on how to set it up and how to use it. Uh, the OBS filters are pretty good, to be fair. Noise suppression is great. Uh, its own noise gate, I mean, this is the rear noise gate by here, but if you go into the plus button by here, you'll see I've got noise gate. I have compressor. Compressor is when you're shouting, you change the out, the outgoing decibels levels. If 
that makes sense so that the, the higher it goes the quieter your voice is it, it, it helps your ears when you're shouting so if you're a shouty kind of person streamer you're not gonna hurt everybody's eardrums and, and just force them to leave your stream um, it, it's, it's quite an in-depth thing it's quite a difficult thing to master uh, audio I struggle at times with it as well especially when I'm doing podcasts with people and trying to get that decent audio level and stuff it's a it's a constant battle your audio but if you can put a lot of your focus especially early on in streaming onto having good audio then you're gonna be looking pretty good when things go forward with your streams in the future anyway guys I think this wraps up this video I've been Dragonheart thank you for watching until next time goodbye